Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over a little project where we're going to make a battery bank using some 18650s that I've salvaged over the years. Um, if you've watched the channel, you may have noticed I've done stuff like salvage cells from these ring batteries. I've salvaged cells from uh, these medical packs. I've also just bought um, cells kind of like these, um, 18650s with a built-in BMS. I have done things where I've taken this all apart and just used the cell. And there's also some projects I've done where I've actually just used the BMS and just used these lead wires kind of as is. Uh, but I also just recently had bought and done a review on uh, these cells here. Some Samsung cells, really high quality cells. Um, you know, most of them measured over 3.1 amp hours. And so these are the cells we're going to use today. Um, but maybe you know you're like me is like i got these loose cells but i don't really want to build a battery bank where i gotta create a bms and you know you know spot weld a bunch together or whatnot and so i went searching and i found something pretty useful uh so here it is uh, it is a empty battery holder uh this little system here is a 1s 16p so depending on the capacity of the cells you use, this can be you know, quite large of a battery bank. Um, if you notice here, it's got the cell holders and then a PCB that we'll talk about all its functions here in a second. Uh, we have a front display here, power button. But uh, let's take a look at the inputs and outputs. Let me zoom in here so you can see it real well. All right, so what we have here is we've got a uh, USB quick charge, uh, then we have a standard, and then we have a USB-C with power delivery. We'll go over those specs in a second. A lightning connector, and then a micro USB. So these two on the left are really good for um, you know charging. Uh, if you have those cables handy, so you can charge. Um, I do not believe they will output. Uh, I don't have any wires really to test that. They may, but I doubt it. So just consider those inputs. But this USB-C um, is actually bi-directional. So you can charge, uh, charge it or you can use it for power. Um, these two, I believe, you can just use for output as well. Um, so if you're going to charge it, these are the spots to use. And with this power delivery, you'll have the capability of doing um, 5 volt at 3 amp, uh, 9 volt at 2 amp, and then 12 volt at 1.5 amp, totaling 18 watts of available power. And so we're going to populate this with the cells and then we'll show you the display, power a few things, and then in our next video we're actually going to leverage this in a real world application, um, other than just standard charging of your cell phone or using it with your laptop or whatnot. So let's go ahead and put the batteries in and take a look at it fully assembled. All right, just a quick word of warning. Uh, just make sure that all the cells are very close in voltage before putting them in there. This is paralleling 16 of these together. And so if any one cell is uh, really low, that's a lot of current that could rush in and destroy the cell and short some stuff out. And so you just wanna be really careful, make sure all the cells are very similar. Let me go ahead and put the back on and then we'll do some testing of charging and uh, discharging. All right, as you can see here, we've got it charging. We're using uh, the USB-C connector. Um, this is a 45 watt um, USB-C power, but the system can only bring in 18 watts because that's the limit of the current that the system can do. I just wanted to show that. And uh, now let's go to try uh, Let's look at the mini uh, micro USB and see if we see if that charges as well. All right, here we've got the USB mini connected and it's also now charging. And since that is um, probably max five volt at probably um, one or two amps, it's not going to be the full three, I don't believe, because it uses the standard USB connector. Let's uh, move on to the lightning, make sure that works, and uh, we're getting close to the finish here. All right, we've got the mini connect, I mean, sorry, the lightning connector hooked up. It is also now charging. 
And so here's what the display kind of looks like. We have the percentage and then it has the different levels. So right now it's actually charging at 5 volt, 3 amp. That's pretty good uh, input, that's 18 watts. So no matter whether you're charging the USB-C or this connector or even maybe probably the micro, you're only gonna get 18 watts of max power in. And again, depending on the cells you used, um, this one is 3.1, at least 3.1 amp hour per cell times 16. Um, so that's a that's a large size. I'll put that I'll put that on the screen to do the math real quick of what size that is. But uh, one thing you'll remember if you ever look on the internet and you're looking for a good battery bank and you see the ones that say like 90 amp hour, 100 amp hour, and then some ridiculous like 900 amp hours. I mean, those are just scams. Those cells cannot be that big. I use really high quality 18650 cells, and it took 16 to get probably over 40 amp hour, and so. That's how much space it actually takes. So don't be fooled. Um, you know they'll have some capacity. They just won't have nearly that capacity. They're just trying to suck, sucker you in, and you know now you'll have an idea of what that size actually looks like. And so in the next video, we're going to actually use this in a real world application, and I uh, hope you'll tune in for that. I'll have links in the description for this model. And there's also a model that has a wireless charging pad built in. And so you can get both of those. And then I'll have the cells that I used also linked to batteryhookup.com. Uh, if you do buy any batteries from them, if you help me out and use my uh, coupon code tech, that really helps out the channel. We're still pre-revenue and um, it'd be greatly appreciated. So guys, have a great day. Bye.